disrupts the learning environment for almost a month of days. Your kids know it, your kids' teachers know it. Standardized testing across the state of Ohio eats up a lot of valuable classroom time, and now a change may be coming. Good evening, everyone. A local school district could become a statewide or even national model for reducing the number of mandatory standardized tests. Administrators in 15 Ohio schools and districts have gotten the okay to do things differently. Local 12's Jeff Hurst shows us how the 1,500 student Finneytown district could have an impact far beyond the district's small size. Testing is part of school. Everybody knows that. But there's a growing backlash to what critics call the drill and kill reality of high stakes standardized statewide testing. There are a lot more parents coming in talking about test anxiety. The students get burnt out. This is the standardized test schedule for Whitaker Elementary School in Finneytown. Test after test. And it's the same everywhere for a month. Whenever it's standardized testing time, these signs go up around the building. Testing. Please do not disturb. Even the band can't practice. But the feeling among educators now is that all these tests, that's what's disturbing. It also draws, when you're testing, it draws so many other staff. Your school counselor is testing. Your Title I reading teachers aren't doing reading intervention. They're testing all these days. That's you know, right. the specials te special ed teachers are pulled. They're not doing instruction. So it impacts more than just the grade level that's actually testing at that time. It's not the tests are bad. The concern is over so many high-stakes tests, federal and state required, used for state school report cards and teacher job evaluations. Well, we are certainly into accountability. But when it becomes too repetitive and too redundant, it just becomes useless. And many of these kids shut down and fail to gain in any areas because they're just, in our opinion, over-tested. So now the state has okayed plans from Finneytown and 14 other districts and schools to reduce but not eliminate the number of high-stakes tests from basically four weeks a year to one. Finneytown says that saves 117 hours of fill in the bubbles. An example would be we would take third grade reading but not third grade math. We would then take fourth grade math but not fourth grade reading. There would still be local exams along with other assessments, portfolios, college or career readiness programs and tests with immediate feedback for improving learning, not having to wait nearly a year for the statewide results. It's a very rigorous program. If anyone wants to see what we are using to document student growth, there's no one with discount uh, or discredit what we've actually put on the table because it's very rigorous and it's all research based. The feds still have to say yes if they do. I think it would be phenomenal. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. In addition to Finneytown, Great Oaks Vocational School, Hughes High School in the Cincinnati District are among the 15 schools or districts which have been given the state approval for fewer standardized tests. 